Hey everybody, it's Mike again over here in Brotopia in another Back to Basics video. We are doing another bed that's going to go for the majority of the winter. So, this bed here is getting four different plants in it. It's getting arugula, it's getting basil, it's getting celery, and it's getting a long-standing cilantro. So the first one we're going to start off with is our arugula that we have. Now this arugula that we got does not have anything other on it other than it's just a bag with seeds in it. So I put a little bit of about a quarter of an inch down, a little line, and I'm just going to plant my seed like that. Just like I did in the previous video, I'm going to just cross off the tag, write arugula, and that's it. Now I started getting into actually doing things a little differently. Um, instead of having like a bunch of tags, if I'm going to do like a long crop line, I just stick the tag right at the beginning of it and I know from that tag straight back is going to be just that plant by itself. Now I do have a bag of basil that is started and this is supposed to be cinnamon basil so I'm not going to actually plant any more basil over here for now because I have a lot of basil outside that is going to be coming in but I'm just putting that bag in there like such and being it already has a tag on it and I had planted it 820 it has taken quite some time to get anywhere so that's just how that's going to be Now, the celery that I had in here, I actually had to pull it out and move it, but I wanted to show you guys something really cool with it. In case you guys were wondering, see this on the bottom? This is the bag. So the same bag that that basil in, that's how this celery started. So this celery started off as a seed inside the bag, and look how big the roots are on it. Even though I had to pull it out very carefully, this is exactly what's going on, and this has quite some rootage on it. So I'm just going to move some soil around, because I wanted to put it in here. Now, I'm not going to bury it deep. I'm going to make sure everything's all nice and neat with it because I had I wanted to transplant it. So just put it nice in here, repack it in, and because it's going back into its same soil, and I'm not moving it out, I'm not putting it anywhere, I'm not taking it out of here. It's staying within the same environment. I just wanted to move it, make more room in here. I don't have to worry about anything going wrong with it. On this side over here, we are going to put our long american long standing cilantro it takes 40 to 55 days till maturity uh sun's partial shade start indoors one to two weeks before last frost direct sow or direct sow planting depth is half an inch and that's about it so we li i like using cilantro on a lot of stuff i had a lot of issue with this stuff growing this year so i'm going to go back to the way that i used to grow it which was inside of here I'm doing the same thing. I'm just putting a row of seeds, like such. I just forgot my tag, my celery, my celery right there. Making a tag for the cilantro. Nine twenty-one. It is C I L A N T R O, and it's long but also in the bag uh, in the bag in the Bible it actually says what type of plant is growing in this section so even if I only put on the tag cilantro I know that it's a long standing long American standing so what's good with that is I actually don't have to write so much on these tags and it just saves on a lot of stuff and one of the things is is like I'm trying to find a way to, to, to waste the least amount of money. So what I'm basically going to be doing is the book is actually going to have all that information in it and it's just going to show where it's at. So for an example in the book I'm going to write for today I'm going to write you know 921 of 24 um, bed you know uh, planter number whatever and I'm gonna put in there arugula, cinnamon, celery, and cilantro in which they what what you know what was planted on this day. So being that the basil and the celery were already here, um, the arugula and the cilantro are the only two that are gonna get the date of when they were planted. Then they'll get a date 
of when they get germ when the germination appears and then they'll get a date on their first harvest so that as time goes on I can keep track of was when I planted it when I started seeing life and when I had my first harvest from it so anyway guys that was a quick video for uh, another little planting that I have growing on in here um, honestly right now is the best time to start getting different stuff in and get stuff different stuff growing the celery as it gets closer to the time where it's got to bring it in it's going to go into a nice pot it's going to go inside the house and it's going to go sit inside the nursery and I'll have nice fresh celery all winter long then bring it outside and keep it growing because this is going to be one big plant and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger years and years ago I had a large cilantro and uh, I just I was too stupid and didn't keep up with it I had a rosemary that was the same way and I've been having issues trying to get rosemary to grow this year and it's basically because I've been listening to too many people giving the wrong information so like I've said I'm going back to basics like the way I did it there's absolutely zero fertilizer out here I'm gonna water these guys in when I end the video wash my hands go in the house and that might be it for the rest of today so I hope everybody enjoys their Saturday like subscribe share it your friends and family definitely hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing all these different little videos and if anybody has any questions concerns or anything they want me to try or they have any questions about doing something I don't mind filming a video and showing you fine people what I'm doing as well because we all got to learn here and these videos aren't just for the public there are so a archive for me as well so I can go back multiple videos before and go oh what did I do how did I do that oh, okay cool watch that video of myself doing it and then write it down because the success from it was a hundred percent perfect that I want to repeat over and over again so anyway guys, later.